to my first ever commented video. This one's about my uh, attempt to uh, learn how to trapeze on Rutland Water. This is me, I'm on the, well I'm the short guy. And my friend there is uh, Matthew Botfield, my name Rob Edwards. And the place is Rutland Water, early in January, fairly cold. We're using a boat called a Javelin. Wind Guru that day was telling us uh, it was going to be between uh, force 5 to 7 uh, and uh, force 7 is pretty hairy and you'll see on one of the downward legs just how fast this thing can go. Javelin really is a fantastic boat and it's normally quite stable. Uh, we tend to take it out when there's too much wind. Uh, typically I'm out in a Phantom and uh, Matthew's out in uh, an RS 600 FF which is a, a foil boat. Look at that though, uh, on this day something's awfully wrong, the bow's dipping heavily into the water. What should be happening round right about now is that we should be moving right back into the boat. But nevertheless, uh, off we go. Look at that, wave right over the bow. And each time that happens, of course, uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. So this is our first tack. And you can see <laughs> the amount of time it took me to get from port to starboard was massive. To put this in perspective, uh, the guy at the back is uh, six foot seven. I'm about five foot ten. I'm not a dwarf, uh, uh, and also he's had about thirty years of experience sailing boats, and I've had, well, uh, uh, three. It certainly shows. Fast or what? Four seven, we think, down the south side of the lake, and the boat is pelting. few seconds time we'll both be in the water but before we get to that I want to show you my amazing hat catching technique there we go next up is our first capsize it starts with a head to wind and uh, I'm guessing the reason is uh, uh, that I'm not quite fast enough getting across the boat perhaps I need to back the jib not quite sure but Matthew tries to save us. I'm still on the wrong side and click. Need the chip to give us some more forward thrusts and uh, help the boat steer a little bit. Out comes the chip. As uh, a member of Rutland Sailing Club, you uh, need to do two rescue juices a year. Those two guys in the boat there were volunteers. Hard to really express how grateful I have been sometimes to see the uh, assistant boat appearing and with smiling faces.
losing eyesight in the background there. You can just see Rutland Fishing Club. Fishermen, by the way, are out in all weathers. The worst of it. Boy, are they keen. Nevertheless, on this day, the wind was so bad, there were a few of those white fishing boats to be seen. The boat in the background, by the way, is a rib, a two-man crew, a coxswain, and another volunteer. They generally wait patiently in the background, just to see if we need any extra help. And if we don't, uh, they'll get back to the other races. So here we are again, heading back towards the club. Uh, there's a lot of water in the power of the boat. And there's a lot of water in the boat altogether. I don't think there are any mistakes particularly this time. Uh, uh, we just get overwhelmed by the amount of water uh, coming in and try as you might, over we go. Seeing this is uh, quite good on camera. This is a contour camera by the way uh, and uh, you can see the helmsman there uh, quite confident in the ability with toes under the straps uh, 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 but certainly most of his body there underwater. I'm a little bit luckier uh, towards the bow of the boat. Uh, I'm not so wet. We really need to get up some speed to get the water out of the boat, but uh, it's almost a losing battle. By now, though, uh, uh, we can see uh, the clubhouse in the distance, and of course the the assistance boat there is uh, quite close. There was racing on this windy day. I think we saw four competitors as well as the committee boat. Three lasers and a trident. The trident is a disability boat, and of course the ever watchful uh, uh, rescue crews uh, uh, who uh, help us all uh, every weekend. Rutland Water is England's largest man made lake with a surface area of 4.2 square miles. That compares with the biggest natural one, which is Windermere, I think, uh, which has a surface area of 5.7 square miles. There are two sailing clubs, Rutland Water Sailing Club and Whitwell Sailing Club. Rutland's on the south shore, Whitwell's on the north shore, and there's also uh, a fishing club. That's all for now, and bye.